Peter? Now that this is all over, there's something I've been meaning to say. What is it? I... When I was trapped in that tomb, all alone, the only thing I cared about was my own freedom. And to obtain that freedom, I exploited memories of your mother. I lied to you, made you think she was alive for my own benefit. I shouldn't have done that. I'm sorry. I used you. It was a selfish thing to do, and I feel terrible to have put you through that. It's in the past now, Mantis. There's no point in dwelling on it now. I know, but I still feel terrible for what I did. The more time I spent with you, the more I discovered what you've been through. I can tell you and your mother were very close. I could feel it in your heart, destroying the forge and losing the chance to see her again. That couldn't have been easy. I think my mom would have wanted me to move on from her. She always said, look forward, not back. Yes, I suppose. But still, what would you say if I told you I could give you a moment with your mother? What? A final chance to speak with her. See her one last time. What about the others? They all lost someone close to them, too. I owe you a debt, Peter. Freeing me from my prison, destroying the Eternity Forge. I can't ever repay you for what you've done. But I can give you this. And I want to give it to you. The remains of the Forge would be able to let me connect with someone who has... died. But only for a few minutes, and only if you want. Hey, 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 easy there. I got you. What? What? Where am I? Hey, Mom. <laughs> it's, uh, <laughs> it's me. P Peter? I. Peter! <laughs> I, I don't understand. You're here. Uh, I'm here. How is that even possible? I'd explain, but we don't have long. You and me being here together, this is only temporary. I see. Peter, <laughs> look at you. You're, you're so tall. I mean, you're, you're all grown up. And what the hell are you wearing? That jacket, it's ridiculous. You look like you're in a rock band. Are you in a rock band? This might come as a surprise, but I'm a legendary space adventurer now. You always did love outer space and Indiana Jones. So I guess you combined your passions. I, I, I don't know where to begin. I, I missed so much, so many years. I. I'm sorry, Peter. I wish I could have been there for you. I... I didn't want to leave you. To think you had to grow up all on your own, I... You can't blame yourself. You were sick. Sometimes life deals you a bad hand. Well, I feel fine now. Confused, a little weirded out, but generally fine. 
I have to ask, you're not... You're not alone, are you? No. I've got people who care about me. I am so proud of you, Peter. I love you. I love you too, Mom. I can't stand goodbyes. Play me a song? Of course. I got just the one. Just gotta find it. It's somewhere here. It's... Nope, that's not it. Almost. Uh, I think it's after... Wait, hold on. Uh, gotta go back. Uh, there we go. Hmm. Good song. They all are. You picked them. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Are you all right? I didn't want to interfere. Thank you, Mantis. I owe you for that. You owe me nothing. All right. Fill her up. Actually... Forge is already full. There's still a charge in it, but its power is fading. It can only be used for one more revival. I'm sorry. It won't be able to bring back all your loved ones. I am Groot. Groot says you should use the forge for your mom. I am Groot. Since you got us back together. I am Groot. Wait. <laughs> what about you guys? I mean, you all lost someone close to you. Resurrecting the Celestial Head has severely weakened the Forge's capacity. If you wish to use it, you need to do it now. I'm not sure I need it anymore. Then again, Drax lost his daughter. Seems pretty important to bring her back. What about Lila? You loved her. Guess I'm done being the selfish one. Really, Drax? It should be you. It should be you. After everything we've been through, are we seriously still arguing? No, we're just agreeing strongly. This is an anti-argument. I just got one of those voices that always sounds like I'm angry. Oh, yeah, I guess so. There isn't much time left. The Forge is... dying. If you wish to use it, you need to do it now. I'd like to see my mom again. I'd really like to meet her. Take my hand. I want you to think of your fondest memory of your mother. The moment when you were the happiest. It's, uh, <laughs> it's me. P Peter? I... Peter! <laughs> I, uh, I don't understand. You're here. Uh, I'm here. How is that even possible? I'll explain everything, I, I promise. Even the part where I died. Peter... Look at you. You're you're so tall. I mean, you're you're all grown up. 
And what the hell are you wearing? That jacket. It's ridiculous. You look like you're in a rock band. Are you in a rock band? What? No, this jacket is awesome. Everyone thinks so. <sighs> Whatever you say, kiddo. Seems like you're old enough to have common sense when it comes to fashion. You're just ignoring it, that's all. I... I, I don't know where to begin. I... I missed so much, so many years. I... I'm sorry, Peter. I wish I could have been there for you. I... I didn't want to leave you. To think you had to grow up all on your own, I... Well, it wasn't so terrible. I mean, I had Yondu, after all. <laughs> so, that pirate actually held up his end of the bargain, huh? I'm surprised. I hope he was a good role model for you. Yeah, something like that. I think you're gonna love it here. I'll show you around my spaceship. You can see the stars out of every window. We're... We're in outer space? <gasps> right now? Yeah. You, uh, you might need one of these. Oh, yes. Yes. Thank you. Oh! Peter. Who are all these people staring at me? These people? They're my family. That's Gamora, Rocket, Groot, Drax, and Mantis. Hi. Nice to meet you, Star-Lord's mom. Star-Lord? Yeah. So? Like the character I made up about you for our bedtime stories? Little Petey, the Star-Lord, and his cosmic adventures? <laughs> Your mother is embarrassing you with secrets from your childhood. <laughs> Little Petey! Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh, this will never not be funny. <laughs> hey, I'm proud to be Star-Lord. I'm not embarrassed. Of course, honey. We believe you. Someone get this woman a drink. I want to hear more stories like that! <laughs>